What's up guys? Well, welcome to 365 Days of Talk. This is the first episode, and it's not really a lot, because, you know, um, it's the first episode, so I guess it's just be like an intro, basically like a vlog of my life, which, you know, WKWF show, it's not really just about me, even though I'm on the camera a lot, but it's about the group, and this is just like about me. Um, well, let's go ahead and get to it. Uh, let's see. It's been about a year now. I think it has. Not a year, a couple of months. It always, it almost feels like a year since I started doing shit again. And as you see, I'm starting to WKGPs, uh, trying to do once a day. I'm not sure what game I'm going to do tonight because, uh, we just got done with 400 days. I'll probably do something like, uh, Revengeance and try to get that done again. And, uh... Because, you know, we never finished that with the last boss. Um, I don't know, guys. Like, we'll just go. And I might do some Skyrim or anything like that. Um, you know, just WKGP coming back. Also, I have an announcement. Um, WKWF Season 4 is coming in February. I guarantee you it. Um, I have a camera back now. Actually, it's my Vita. I, I had lost my Vita. Not lost. I had it stolen and I couldn't shoot anything and also for the past couple of months I just didn't feel like doing shit you know I was just like fuck it you know kind of yeah so that's why it took so long for me to get a mixtape out well not even a mixtape was that a mixtape nah it's an EP it took so long for me to get an EP out I have a lot of songs I haven't even fucking released yet and uh there is a mixtape coming out next month which is WKWL plus triple mb part two and we've been working on that for about a while so yeah that's coming out um you'll be getting one of these every day so even when i don't have a wkgp which is very rare i'll you know go ahead and shoot one of these out it might not even be in my room it might be like some different place like me walking somewhere me doing something something like that but, um, you know, so basically that's the information on that. Um, hmm. I want to pick a topic and talk about today, but I'm not really sure what it's going to be. Let's just talk about, let's just talk about what happened those couple of months that I wasn't doing anything. Um, let's see. I slept, I ate, I slept, I didn't do shit and I slept. And I just felt like I needed a break, you know what I mean? Because, like, I didn't really have anything to say musically and shit. So I was like, eh. And I didn't have any stories. And my life sucked so fucking hard. And it was so boring. I didn't have shit to do. And, you know, I didn't just... I guess 2014 is that actually good year. Because 2013, I would call my winter. Because it fucking sucked. And 2014 would be my spring, you know, and so on, so on. Because, you know, everybody has to go through a winter before they go through the spring and the summer of life. And uh, that's that's from Ip Man. That's a quote from him. Anyway, um, what I'm saying is, basically, I'm back in business now. Like, I'm going to start shooting. I'm going to start communicating with you guys. I don't know if you've noticed, but under the description there's links to hoodies and tees you know because wkwf is making more shirts more clothing now you know for you guys to support us and shit which is really cool um hopefully we'll get you know somewhere and we'll be able to do a lot more um want to make a lot of more groups and stuff like that and you know weird kids with faces has never changed its purpose its purpose is always to stand out for those who feel like they can't stand out for themselves, you know, or to not even that, just to bring you guys out, you know, you feel socially awkward, fucking come out, you know, you feel like you're weird, come out, doesn't matter if you're straight, gay, bi, fuck, black, white, Asian, doesn't, doesn't matter, you know, we're just a diverse group, we just want you to be yourselves, you know, and people think, oh shit, we're biting off of OF or some shit like that, and that's definitely not what we're trying to do, so I wanted to like address that. The reason I created Weird Kids With Faces is because I went through school, you know, my whole, I guess, school life. 
Um, and I didn't fucking like myself, you know? I didn't want to tell people, oh, shit, I like anime, or, oh, fuck, I like, uh, uh, video games, or, you know, like, this or that, you know? I wasn't cool with myself. I'd always be, you know, I don't know, scared to say some shit, but, you know, my junior and senior year, I was just like, fuck it, let me be myself, and, I mean, a lot of people have an issue with me being myself, but who gives a fuck? Because if you're doing what you want to do, what is the issue? You know? So, I mean, I just feel like we need to go ahead and we just need to branch out. I mean, um, the hoodies and tees and shit, you guys don't have to purchase them. But it'd be nice if you go look at them, tell your friends or anything like that. You know, just for a support cause. Because we're just really trying to branch out. Like, fuck it. I want to, I don't want to, I don't have to be famous, okay? Um, I'm going to be honest. I don't have to be famous. It would be nice. But that's not my main goal. It's not to be famous. It's to fucking save lives and shit, you know? Like, you don't know how many fucking kids, how many fucking teens, just how many people in general aren't fucking comfortable with themselves. They're like, oh, I'm too fat or I'm too skinny or fucking I'm ugly or some shit. Fuck all that, yo, because honestly, it's what's inside. It's what the fuck matters. If you have a talent, if you even if you don't have a talent, the fact that you just doing shit yourself is what the fuck matters, you know? I mean, let's stop thinking about so much about if we look the best on fucking Instagram or how many retweets we get or how many reblogs we get on Tumblr or some shit like that. Like, I mean, fuck it. Just do you. Like, even with my Tumblr, I put a lot of shit on there. If you do follow me, if you don't, link in the description of my Instagram and all the other shit for y'all to, you know, get in contact with me. Um, you know, um... It's a lot of shit I put on there. People are like, yeah, I don't know. I don't like it. And I'm like, I don't give a fuck. And, you know, I still do it. And if I would have stopped doing that like two years ago, I probably wouldn't even have as many followers as I have now, you know? Fuck it. I probably wouldn't wouldn't be happy and shit like that, you know? Because that whole 2013, I just used that shit as a suppression, you know, to suppress my myself. And I'm fucking done doing that, you know? fucking I'm weird and I'm gonna fucking love it till the day I die you know my manager was like yo you gotta do some shit this and that blah 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 you know but for the past three weeks within almost two years even when I started WKW within almost two years I've been fucking happy and that is fucking amazing waking up and not wanting to just stay in bed waking up not just wanting to fucking sleep, you know, waking up, being able to fucking express myself, not giving a shit, you know, like doing what the fuck I want to do, talking to people, not making excuses and shit, and socializing, which this is just some shit I started to do again, because fuck it, I, for months and shit, ever since I fucking graduated, I wasn't doing shit, and in February, I start school again, so, you know, and, um, not really gonna put it out there it's a maybe maybe not but me and Eli which is my manager and you know the camera guy we might be you know broadening horizons and going somewhere else 2014 fall or 2015 I'm not gonna shoot for where but it's somewhere in Florida we might be somewhere different shooting and uh yeah that's gonna, you know, I want to go ahead and shoot that out. Um, also, you know, just things are gonna get a lot better for your WKWF. Like, I know last year we fucking disappeared and shit after that graduation. It was just the fucking end. And I really did feel like it was the fucking end. Like, there was no reason to do it. But, for some reason, I didn't fucking quit. I mean, I wanted to, but... I didn't quit. You know, we're going to keep on shooting. We're going to keep on making shit happen, you know. Um, But, let me see. So, this will be more interactive next time. I want you to leave comments under the uh, description. Asking questions that you have for me. Or suggestions of stuff that you want me or you want the group to do. And we're going to, depending on what the fuck it is, we're going to do it. We're going to try to do it. Um, also, you can, you know, put something to my ask, my ask on Tumblr, 
or you can mention me on Twitter or you can put some shit on the Facebook page. All that stuff is linked down there. Now on the sides, you know, where my hands are, there are two videos. No, not two. I fucked up. There's one video. Okay, there's three actually. There's one right here. There's one right here. And then there's going to be one right here. Not on my penis, but it's like right here. Anyway, there's three videos. These three videos are the WKGP 400 Days, which we just finished doing. And for the people that I did tell that already saw, you know, all three videos, season two, I'm going to start shooting that probably in February because I want to give it a little bit of break. I want like at least two episodes to shoot. I don't want to just buy the thing because you have to buy the whole thing, which is $15 and there's only one episode out right now. So I'm going to wait. And February, we'll start that shit up. And, you know, y'all be, oh, fuck yeah. We'll be probably crying and fucking emotional again. I didn't cry. I You could watch season one, which, you know, that's just like right there. You can watch season one. I didn't fucking cry. I just, that shit hit deep when what happened happened. You If you've watched all of that shit, you've been through the road. And we even tried to like alternate endings and shit like that and that shit still sucked ass so that is besides the point i cannot help that but um you know we're gonna start doing stuff like that so season two february and wkwf season four in february um let's see what else basically I think that's about it um oh yeah new year's resolutions i don't have one <laughs> and um let me tell you why before you're like, oh, blah, blah, blah. Um, I don't really firmly believe in New Year's resolutions. What I believe in is just trying to do better that you do than you do every day. You know, like, why does there have to be a new year for you to have one thing when you could be working on five as you go through day and day, you know? So things that I want to get better at myself is, well, let's say things that I've accomplished right now. Fuck it, I'm happy with myself. Completely fucking love myself now. I used to hate myself like shit. Uh, let's see. I think that was the only two things that were really bad. Oh, yeah, I'm happy. Did I say that? Yeah, I think I did. Anyway, that's besides the point. Uh, that's things to work on. Uh, I'm kind of working on profanity. Yeah. <laughs> but, see, listen... Profanity is not completely bad. If you're young and watching this, don't say it. But if you're old, you know, profanity is not completely bad. You know, I've been told that profanity is for people who have a lack of vocabulary. That's not true. I have a very extensive vocabulary and sometimes people just don't understand. So you have to fucking tell them what it means. So profanity can be used for emphasis. Always remember that. So, yeah. But if you swear too much, like, if you're cussing around kids and shit, stop. You know? Like, there's a certain limit. You know? Just be cool with it. Be cool with it. Just let it flow. But don't let it flow like a fucking river if you're in a fucking Chuck E. Cheese. It doesn't make sense. Yes. And that hat in the background, that is, um... That's um from this circus shit I went to with my sister. And it was kind of raw because it had dragons on it. And then there's a fucking flag and it has dragons on it. So I just started getting, I don't give a fuck. You could judge me. I don't give a shit. I wanted it. This shit was raw at the time. But also, I went to a convention yesterday. And I got some cool shit. So I might as well show it. Alright, I got this shit. So, you know I'm a big fucking Thundercats fan. It's a fucking hat. And I have to put the link and shit in the bottom so you can, like, fucking get these hats. Because these hats are cool as shit. And they're machine washable and all this other stuff. And I met the people who sell them. But that's a big, long story. I don't feel like telling. Anyway, you need to get these hats and shit. These shits are cool. Uh, this is the Thundercat one. And then I got this shit. This shit is mega cool. It's just, like, you know, it's the King of Hearts symbol. But it's a fucking... It's a, it's a bunny hat and shit like that. It's cool. I put it on, but I don't feel like putting it on. I mean, I could, but I don't. 
Maybe next time, tomorrow, I'll put it on. I'll wear it tomorrow, okay? Anyway, um, I think that's basically about it. Tonight, uh, be watching out for some gameplay. Um, what will we might do? I don't know, I'm really thinking about Revengeance. Or it might be an online play of Naruto, because I'm pretty fucking beast in that, and if you think you're better than me, I'll give you my fucking PSN, and you can come and try to whoop my ass. I'm not saying that it's gonna happen, I'm just saying you can try, but you know, it's not gonna be, oop, it's not gonna happen. Anyway, um, I think that's basically about it. So, as we've said before, WK, WF, fresh to death. Ah, uh, out.